strong. Welcome to Tech Tutorials. Today, let's go over how to do animations in Adobe Spark Post. So as of right now, um, animation is located right here, and you'll see that it's in beta. And that means that it's still a feature that they're working on. So some of the things I'm going to talk about are currently the product in beta. When it actually becomes a fully launched part of this application, it might change. So keep that in note. All right. So if you want to do animation, all you need to do is click the animation button right here. You notice right now mine is set to none. Um, that means there is no animation. And we have text animation and photo animation. The first important thing you need to understand is that you can only do one animation. That means you can either do a text animation or a photo animation. At this time, you cannot do both. So let's take a look first at text animation. So we have different options, typewriter, right? And then within that option, there's sort of sub options, dynamic, flicker. And what it tends to do is it really applies the animation to the biggest piece of text and sort of fades in the rest of the text. Okay, so say I made this text a lot bigger than this text, right? This one right here is 178.5. This one right here is 188.1. And the difference between that is what it does is it takes the biggest piece of text, right, the size of the text, and it animates that one first. So that's one difference. Now let's look at it in terms of animating photo animation. So here we can see we have different options for photo animation. This is very similar. When you choose one of these options, you also have a couple sub options within that option. And the same with the other text animation, it takes the biggest piece and it sort of animates it first and the other ones are animated along with it. You'll notice it only animates photographs or images, it won't animate the icons. So again, here we have photo animations and we have text animations. You cannot do both at the same time, you can either select one or the other. Um, with animations, if you download this, you're downloading it, um, you can download it as a video which keeps the animations or if you download it as a PNG, JPEG, or PDF, that flattens your document so you won't have the animations. So if you are applying animations, it will give you the option to download as an MPEG-4 video, and if you share it, you can also be able to share this animated version of your document. So you can export this post as a video. You can publish and um, share it as a link. You can also download it as a, a sort of flat digital file. And so you can see here, this is the same dimensions as my post, and it becomes a little video. So this could be a really nice way to do some animations um, that are a little bit more advanced. Say if you're using iMovie or something like that, you want a really quick animation sort of title sequence. So that's the general gist of the animation tool as it currently is in Adobe Spark Post. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, like and subscribe for more and comment down below if you request for a specific tutorial.